<laughs> what? No. I did it first. It was me. It was me. Let me look at this. One day ago, five days ago, it was me. I'm the original rose gold like the iPhone hair. Not her. Not her. Hey, what's up guys? It's Taylor. And yeah, I don't know if y'all saw, but yeah, Kylie Jenner got rose gold hair. And you know, she's being credited for creating it when it was me. I created it. I am the sole creator. I invented the hair color. It did not exist before me. I really hope my sarcasm translates well with y'all. Yeah, I know I did not invent this hair color. Actually, when I got it done, the lady who was doing my hair, my stylist, she told me she saw it at Fashion Week and that it's going to blow up in a month or so and be the next new color. So I was like getting ahead of the trend. And boy, was she right because four days later, Kylie Jenner invented the hair color that I had. So yeah, Kylie Jenner, copied me. I'm sure. I'm positive. She saw my picture and she took it to her hairstylist and said she wanted it. It's not like she would be at Fashion Week or anything like that. It's not like she has those kinds of connections. It's not like she's into fashion. She's just really into animal care and saw my rose gold hair and wanted it. That's actually what it was. Anyway, so today, so today I'm gonna be talking about praying mantis care, actually. I'm obviously not in my room. I just wanted a table. I just really wanted a table to put my stuff on for this video because Trying to do it on my bed would just be really difficult. So today we're going to be talking about praying mantis and how to take care of them. So mainly today we're gonna to be talking about how to set up a praying mantis terrarium. Setting up a praying mantis terrarium is actually one of the easiest things ever in the world because as you know, they're not very big and they don't need a lot of room. Basically, you want it to be taller than it is wide. You really want the enclosure to be at least two times as big as they are wide and about three times as big as they are tall. The best and easiest way I can explain it. For example, if you have a hatchling or a young praying mantis, any kind of juvenile, they can fit in a little cup like this. This is a very simple cup. All you need is some substrate, which um, Eco Earth really does the best, the coconut fiber Eco Earth. And then you need some sticks for them to be able to climb and perches for them to hang upside down when they are ready to molt. A very simple setup. You want it to be somewhat ventilated so they can get some airflow and circulation in their tank and it won't be completely stiff and still. And they do fine with room temperature. You don't need to you know, give them a heater or anything like that. And as long as they get some sort of light, even if it's just your bedroom light, they're gonna be fine. You definitely don't need a lamp on them or anything like that. One of the best things you can do for your praying mantis's cage is just, just recreate their environment that they live in. In suburbs and cities, you will find praying mantis in gardens because that's where they like to live. For this video, I have a budwing mantis, which is one of the more common species of mantises, and I'm pretty sure it is a male. I'm not positive yet. I'm not positive yet. You cannot successfully keep a male and female together their whole life. If they they choose to mate, the female will eat the male when they decide to mate. So that's fun. It's really best to just limit it to one mantis per enclosure so they don't fight or get territorial or anything like that. So like I said, as a juvenile mantis, this is a perfectly fine setup. And for smaller species of mantis, this is actually gonna be fine their whole life. They won't require an upgrade. But I actually am going to be giving my praying mantis an upgrade. For today, I'm actually out of Eco Earth. I need to go buy some more. So I will not have enough substrate to really make it thick in this container. I'm only gonna be using what I already had in this container in here. So this is how you set up a praying mantis container. I wouldn't really use a rounded fishbowl because they like to climb and if it's all rounded, they're not gonna be able to grip on the sides. I really like the like octagon, hexagon, those kind of shapes or the cylinder shapes where they have the top and bottom to grasp onto. When you're setting up their habitat, the first thing you want to do is put the substrate in. I might have some fruit flies in here, so I hope they don't fall out. So on this stick, on this stick I have Moriarty, here he is. I call him Mo, or Mori, but his name is Moriarty. Comes from Sherlock Holmes. The name comes from the villain in Sherlock Holmes. I named him that because my tarantula is named Cersei, which is what I would like to call the villain in Game of Thrones. And because of that, I kind of wanted to keep the trend going and give my other creepy crawly animal another villain name. I'm gonna put him already in the container because I don't want to lose him while I'm setting this up. Or he doesn't want to be in the container, he wants to hold on to me. Okay then. So when a praying mantis molts, here's what a praying mantis molt looks like. It literally just looks like a floppy version of their their own selves. Sorry about my really dirty nails, that's really disgusting, but um, I didn't realize it was like that until this moment. That was from digging around in my cages 
Um, I really have to do a lot of nail care to keep my nails clean. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour all of this into the container. Here's the container so far with the Eco Earth on the bottom. Next, you just wanna decorate it and recreate their natural habitat, basically. I really wouldn't recommend getting your decorations from your own backyard because you don't know what has been, you know, you have any kind of bug treatments on them or pesticides or most people really don't know what is on their plants in their backyard and things like that. So it's best to, I get fake stuff. I mean, it still looks cute and I don't have to worry about it dying off. Anyway, we're just gonna decorate it now. And um, yeah. I got some cool leaves here. Just gonna put some things around in there and you just wanna make it where he can have lots of opportunities to climb around, some places he can hide, things like that. It's kinda hard to see, but he is now in there. He's on this side. Now when it comes to lids for the tank, you have a few options. I have all three right here with me. First, you could just do a regular lid like this. Big issue with this is that you're not gonna get circulation. I really would recommend cutting little tiny holes into something like this if you're gonna use just a regular lid. The next options are these. There actually is a difference between these two things. This right here is a lid like this one, but this center right here is covered in wire as you can see you could like see through but it has holes cut in it so you could do something like this but if you're going to be feeding them things like fruit flies which you will that's what they eat there's a chance of them getting out so if you're gonna do this during feeding i would put the regular lid on top like this to prevent the fruit flies from getting out and this is the one i use which is a regular lid but instead of mesh we're using a cloth almost paper towel material and this one is my favorite because even during feeding it can just always stay on and the fruit flies can't get out but the cloth material allows for ventilation to go through and that is how you make a praying mantis enclosure that's really all you have to do for enclosures um if you don't want to look for all these materials at like walmart and target and things like that you can always go onto websites and get them there um, I got these fake flowers from, I want to say it was like called That Mantis Place or something like that, but um, I'll put it right here and put it in the description. And they also sell praying mantises themselves. So if you don't know where to get one, I've never ordered a praying mantis from them or any website, so I'm not saying that I personally know how it goes when you do that. I just know it's available there. When it comes to feeding, as juveniles to young adults, they can eat fruit flies and that, that could be their staple diet and they will be okay. You can also feed them treats like honey and things like that, which are also things that they enjoy eating. When they're older, they can eat dubia roaches. I would stay away from crickets. Crickets can actually kill praying mantises because they can't digest them properly and it's just not fun. Instead, I'd stick to dubia roaches, larger species of flies, things like that. So yeah, you really have a few options when it comes to feeding. Uh, fruit flies has been the easiest for me. I've seen a tremendous amount of growth in my praying mantis every single day. He molts wonderfully, he does all of that great, and all he eats are fruit flies. They do not live that long when it comes to lifespans. They live anywhere from like four to nine months, and that is about it. I believe only a few species lived nine months, and that's like at most, so you're not really gonna see that too often. I do mist my mantis cage down so lightly about three times a week. I just do like one tiny little squirt and that helps him get water. Other than that, he's gonna get all of his water from eating his fruit flies. About every two weeks, just freshen up the cage, give him some new eco earth, just make it a little brighter and cleaner. And that's really all you have to do. You know when they're going to molt because they will hang upside down from normally the top of their enclosure. Just don't feed them during this time. They're gonna reject the food and you don't want a lot of fruit flies just hanging around in there while they're molting. That will stress them out. Thank you all guys for watching. I hope you all guys enjoyed. How y'all like in this new light though? My new lighting is so nice. Oh my strap is twisted. Oh god, I hope it wasn't like that the whole video. No, 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 she's, girl, Kylie Jenner stole my hair. This is happening.